Hey everybody, uh, my name is Ira, for those of you who don't know, and now you do. <laughs> and for those of you who do know, hello again, it's a long time to see. Uh, I didn't dress up for this video, that's a little ridiculous. Um, I just got back from a job interview. <laughs> uh, that being said, tomorrow, not today, but tomorrow is my one year on hormones. Yay! I'm excited. Uh, I'm actually having having a party with like family and friends and it's gonna be like a, like a birthday party for someone who's one so I'm definitely gonna wear a diaper I'm really excited <laughs> going to going to the grocery store and picking me up some depends <laughs> and it's gonna be awesome and I will upload pictures and uh, on so I I wanted to be a little more organized with this video because sometimes I just ramble on forever, which I'm going to do anyway, but I prefer to ramble on forever and remember what I'm talking about. <clears throat> uh, so I'm going to be talking about five things today, and the first thing is hair, body, facial, hair on top of my head, hair. Uh, and then the second thing is my voice, third thing is libido, fourth thing is emotions, and the last thing is stability. Um, so let's begin. Uh, okay, so, so hair. I'm beginning to lose my hair. I don't know if you can really tell. There's, it's kind of receding. Not really. I have a lot of hair on top of my head. I mean, I don't have that much body hair. So, the way that I say it is like the universe is like, I really can't really need any body hair. We're just going to stick it all right here. <laughs> and it'll, don't worry. It'll be fine. It'll collect all of Arizona's heat. <laughs> uh, but I'm also getting... It's interesting because I stopped taking a little for about two months. So, uh, well... I slowed it down significantly and basically should have stopped for four months because I wasn't doing anything for me anyway. Uh, because I was too poor. But um, that being said, I all of my, all of the things, all of my growth kind of not only did it plus plateau, it in some ways dropped. Um, but now I'm I'm getting significantly hairier since I started hormones again. I've only been on hormones again for a couple months. Uh, so since I've been on hormones again, I've been getting significantly hairier, uh, which is nice because it's almost like my body's like, okay, Ira, we know how you feel about this. Let's catch up. Uh, I also have some more facial hair. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Let's see. The lighting here is maybe that'd be awesome. So yeah, it's darker right here, and that's because there's hair there. That's the problem. Uh, I have, um, sideburns coming in, which... You know, I have been saying for a while now. Uh, I'm getting way more chin hair and, or beard, I guess you could say. I don't know. You probably can't see it, and that's fine. Um, <laughs> there's only, like, 15 or 20 of them. I'm just going to scratch my head during the whole video, by the way. Uh, there's only about, like, 15 or 20 of them, and <laughs> I should probably care more about grooming, but I'm just so excited that it's there, and I'm, like, emotionally attached to it being there that I just don't do anything about it, and I probably should because it's getting all scraggly and weird-looking. Um, so that being said, I have, it's like a straight line right here, and then I have like a little tiny patch right here, which is weird, but it, you know, it is what it is. And then I get it on both sides, right beneath, uh, the, I think it's called the apex of my mantle, right? And so it's just like, of all the places that I could be getting facial hair, it's, and like the most potentially gross, I'm, you know, I'm getting a neck beard first. Which is disgusting. Um, unless that's your thing. I think it's gross for on my body. Uh, <laughs> I don't want a neck beard. In fact, I would I would be way more happy if I just didn't grow any hair here. And, and if it just, like, stays in this area. But, say love me. Uh, oh, body hair. Okay, so, like I said, I'm not very hairy at all. But now I'm getting significant, like, hair. And not just, like, before it was, like, yeah, there's leg hair, but you can't even really see it. And a bunch of women, like I said a million times before, have always been like, ah, I wish I had as little leg hair as you, which is totally awesome if that's what you want, but that's not what I want, so it's like really awkward. <laughs> um, so yeah, now I'm getting like actual leg hair, which is nice. And it's interesting because like, so say this is my thigh, right? Directly down the middle to the inner thigh is like completely bald. <laughs> and it literally is a straight line. And then directly down the middle to the right, it's hairy. <laughs> so, <laughs> I enjoy that thoroughly. Uh, okay, so, thing number two is my voice. When I stopped taking hormones, it was... my I, I don't want to say that my voice got higher because it didn't, but it felt like it did. Um, and it certainly stopped getting deeper, that's for sure. 
uh, but it was interesting because I'm still on the same prescription as I was before. I just, you know, I do twice as much less, um, and not as often. Um, but right when I started taking hormones again, literally, like, within 10 minutes after my shot, I, I guess it, my voice started to get deeper, and I could just feel it, and it's like sort of raspy, my throat feels kind of sore, but I know that it's a good thing, type of sort of thing. Um, for those of you who have already started performance, you'll know what I'm talking about. For those of you who haven't, uh, when your voice begins to change, it feels, it feels almost like you're getting sick. Um, so yeah, it's, it's gotten, it's gotten deeper, and I'm happy with that, and it makes, it makes me feel good. <laughs> uh, oh, that, that being said, even though it's gotten deeper, I still, like, still kind of use my voice in a higher pitch because, well, one, that's what I'm used to, and because of, one, that's what I'm used to, and two, I like it that way. I, I just, I don't, I've never had a desire to be a manly man, and that's just not my thing, so. That being said, it makes a lot of people think I'm gay, um, or when I come out to them, that's one of the first things that they point out, oh, is, you're trans, is that why your voice is so high? And I'm just like, no, my voice is high because I want it. But, okay, moving on. <laughs> no more ranting. Moving on. Okay, so, third thing is libido. Um, when I stopped taking hormones, it still fluctuated. It did something. And then I started taking hormones again, and I was like, holy oh, shit. <laughs> and it's really awkward, and... But now I have internet, and I will let you conclude that sentence in your own head. Uh, <laughs> my emotions are weird <laughs> at the moment. Uh, we're on to thing number four, by the way, transition. Now that we've talked about libido, now we can talk about Iron's emotional stability or lack thereof. Um, so I got, I got disowned by my parents in, you know, the, the day after Thanksgiving in 2009, for those of you who don't know. And, you know, then I was living with somebody and then, you know, we ended up breaking up and then, you know, then I was living with my friend and then I can't afford it and I am homeless and I live in Arizona. But because I was taken in by these people who I often refer to as my pseudo-parents, they're a married couple, um, and they're significantly older than me, and so that's why I call them that. And they're actually adopting me, which is really cool. <laughs> um, but because I live with them now, I don't I don't worry about where I'm going to live anymore. I don't worry where I'm going to sleep at night or where I'm going to find food, you know, for the most part. I don't eat that much, but... Um, so because of that, I now... And I've realized that I actually like subconsciously repress all of my pain from being disowned and it's sort of like bubbling up and it's beyond nuisance in some ways and sometimes I get really depressed and but I'm dealing with it and I'm processing it and you know I'm learning to grow to redefine the the past is the past and and I can move on. Uh, but it, it's interesting because I always thought I always thought, you know, like I'm proud of myself for not letting this affect me. And the reality is, is it did, and I suppressed it without even knowing it, and I didn't even allow myself to deal with it without even knowing it, <laughs> which which makes it uh, all the more interesting, having all of this going on um, under the radar. But on top of that, like, you're on hormones, so your emotions are going to change. It's not necessarily a specific path, like many people will want you to believe, like, testosterone will automatically make you more aggressive, and estrogen will automatically make you more sensitive, and that's not the case. I'm incredibly sensitive. <laughs> Let's be real. I'm very sensitive. Um, and when I first started taking hormones, I had a really hard time crying. I physically could not cry anymore, and that was really hard for me. Um, and now it's getting to the point where I can cry again, and it's starting to stabilize in some ways, and be more erratic than others. And that being said, and stability being said, we can move on to that topic. Um, the last thing that I wanted to talk about. A lot of things are beginning to stabilize, although that, you know, they are... They are fluctuating, but it's, it's gone from being like this to, you know, a more steady path. And it's, and it's slow. When you first start hormones or when you're wanting to start hormones, waiting to start hormones, you expect all this, this radical change to happen right now, and, and that's all fine and dandy. And, and it kind of, it feels that way at first because it's all so new. Um, but now that I'm used to it, it's, you know, it's, not so radical and it's not so intense, which is good for me because I I need that at this point in time in my life. I like stability of my things for those of you who don't know. Um, but for those of you who are in the beginning of using hormones and, and you're just like, gosh, what is it? When are things just going to feel normal again? Because I 
felt like that for a while, when are things just going to feel normal again? It'll come in time. Don't worry about it. Uh, and, and it doesn't take that long either, really. I mean, one year. Uh, for me, that's how long it took. And hormones affect everybody differently. They're not all the same. Um, one thing I did want to mention is that now that I've been on hormones for a year now, I'm trying really hard to raise money for my top surgery. I'm not very good at asking for things, whether it be money or, you know, rides or favors or anything in general. Um, but I'm going to put a link down at the bottom to my chip-in. If you would like to donate, by all means, I appreciate it. And and I will do my best to send you out a thank you card. Um, I like to make them, and, and sometimes they're really cute and sometimes they're just ugly. <laughs> uh, and my tie is all screwed up and like, okay, there we go. <laughs> um, and if you don't or can't chip in, that's cool too. Um, all I ask is that you forward this on to somebody else who may, uh, because this is something that at this point in time in my life I cannot afford and I probably won't be able to afford for a very, very long time and I don't know. I don't know if I can emotionally handle waiting five years for a top surgery. So, um, yeah, anyway, <laughs> thank you for watching and for putting up with me for almost 12 minutes now, holy crap, uh, <laughs> um, wow, if you have any questions, as usual, feel free to ask, when it comes to my transition, I don't have any boundaries, so please don't be embarrassed, if you want, you can go to my blog, iradultongray.com, I'll put the link down at the bottom as well, if you want to ask an anonymous question and you don't feel comfortable asking, um, with a public identity, I answer anonymous questions, and I'll answer any question, no matter what it is, to the best of my ability. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching, and thank you for sticking with me for a year, even though it's been very inconsistent YouTube. I appreciate you very much, and uh, hopefully I will see you all again very soon. And I'm going to find the button to shut off the video. Okay, bye. <laughs>